Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, my hearties. A very good evening to you. It's nine o'clock on Saturday evening, Saturday the 14th of January 2023. And a very warm welcome to our evening's phone-in, the big talk show with me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, 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 I say. This is big stuff. Mac says, Scotty boy, Mac. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo, welcome to our Saturday evening show. So much to talk about tonight, so little time to do it in. We'll be opening the phones shortly, but first we do a little bit of introduction, bit of chat. Uh, Mr. M, how the heck are you? What's the chat? Marco, dinky-doo, how lovely of you to come and join us for our Saturday evening chat. Lots of chat this evening. Very, very big. And uh, I'll be asking lots of questions. Weren't you on the radio? Was I not just here? So there we are. Some comments have already been filtered. So that's the wee trolls getting kicked. Doon the swatty. We love it. There we are. Very windy in Comor, Scotty. Listen, Stogie. It's very windy right across the planet tonight. January. Can anybody remember the big hurricane of 68? So there we are. Dinky do. Hello, Harvey. How lovely to have you with us. You wee winky. Ha. Oh, I get it, Harvey. Fantastic. Good evening, everyone. And a very warm welcome if you've just joined us. Big John. Wonderful stuff. We like that. Alvo's just joined us as well. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, get telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, start tapping away on your phones. Tap, 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 tap on the old black mirror there. You know, get it going, I say to you. Uh, no, I don't remember you, uh, but I think the end of the world's closed. I don't think so, Care, not at all. Uh, there's user 492, says the Royal Artillery. Hi from Belfast. Hello, Unde from Belfast. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo, I say to you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now then, end of the world, I don't think so. How are you, Sir Scotty McClue? Susan says, hi, dinky-doo. F documents on before, Susan says. Scotty, I was serious about doing graphics for your channel if you need it. Graphic designer here uh, for free. Oh, F document, you are very, very, very kind. That is very good of you. We're not quite at that stage. Uh, we over in the forces, if you don't mind answering. Well, Mac, we don't say too much, you know. Uh, Mum's the word, I always say to you. Scotty, David, and John, dinky do David. Lovely to have you with us. We'll maybe be getting a call from you later. Uh, Scotty, it's the governor. Philip, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do governor. Fantastic stuff. That's what we like. Robert says, hello, mate. How are you? It's been Rab in Canvas Lang, not been on for a bit, been unwell. Robert, I'm very glad you're with us. Are you from the Hoff Way? So there we are. Hi, do you remember the calls from the secret factory 30 years ago? Of course, the pie factory. We kept it secret. What do you think about uh, sending the UK tanks to Ukraine? Well, we tend not to discuss that on here because the platforms don't like it. Uh, so there we are. Dinky you do. Know, power off, uh, Scotty. Using my data to watch. Still game. Please don't use up all your data. But lovely, lovely to have you with us. I can tell you that for nothing. West Bun, says Robert. Absolutely, the West Bun. And you know the Whitley Bun. There we are, the high rise. All right, Scotty. And the Masonettes, of course. Let's not forget that. They were a great group of lady entertainers, the Masonettes. Scotty, it's me, Negan. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you, I say. Now, guys, I've got lots and lots of new videos for you. Get watching, get liking, get enjoying, because they're all made with love just for you. From me, Scotty McClue, dinky do. Um, hello. All right, Scotty. Hope you're well. Uh, evening, Scotty. How do we get rid of Westminster crushing our beautiful Scotland? Well, there was a guy on today, but sadly, he swore. Guys, see if you're making videos for social media, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. 
don't swear because you lose every single ounce of credibility you might have had. <coughs> Pardon me. Every single ounce of credibility you might have had. Yes. And this guy was looking for signatures for a petition to get rid of the government, but he's swearing he was effing and jeffing. Nobody's going to sign anything with an effer and a jeffer. So there we are. WATP, I think I'll put you, will I ban you? Um, shall we ban WATP, guys? Or let's see, we'll leave him for a minute, see if he redeems himself. But if you mention drink again, WATP, lifetime ban, you've gone, you're toast. Uh, JD, not long to Burns night. Absolutely, JD. Eki, thump, dearie me for crying out loud. Andrew, pretty quick. How lovely to have you with us. This is just joyful. Andrew says, uh, GB is the best, Scotty. Runs the best talk show in the world. There we are. Scotty McClure. Absolutely. I thank you. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? We're fine, Davy. Hello, Scotty. How are we? Kareem, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. We'll maybe get a call later on. Shamrock Rovers says, YouTube channel, Scotty. You should come over to Ireland to watch a Shamrock Rovers game. That's a luxury I've been denied, Shamrock Rovers official. Hi, Scotty. You're taking calls now. Not right now, Glenn, but in just uh, a few minutes. Scotty, do you believe Scotland should remain in the UK or leave? I think Scotland should leave ASAP, especially with the ingratitude of the present mob. Is Real Radio still a thing, Scotty? Went downhill fast when you left. Real Radio's gone, guys. Long, long gone. And Scott FM, long, long gone. Century Radio, long, long gone. Anything that's worked successfully in this country will disappear. Do you know what I mean? That's what they do in this country. They can't deal with success. Uh, interesting, though, everybody's turning to God. Yes, indeed, so you can f forget any of the nonsense being talked because God's your boy. Scotty, your fellow countrymen, there we are, has to go to West Ham as manager. Alan, I'll not mention names. Hello, Scotty, good to see you. I hope you're well. Thank you, guys. You must tell me where you're from. It's great me, hello, scotty -ing, and all that stuff, but we don't know where you're from. So there we are. Uh, WATP says none of this Scotland pash. Well, WATP, shall we say bye-bye to you? Uh, the gobschnoppel. I love God, Scotty. I think everybody loves God. You know, we can't believe that any of these so-called leaders uh, can possibly be the most superior power on the planet? I think not. I say to you. Uh, so there you are. Alice uh, Delglind is with us. God, good over evil. Yes, good always triumphs. Alice, you're 100% correct. Good will always triumph over evil. Let's change a, a, a letter in the word. Take out one of the O's in good. And what do you get? Shove a D in front of evil, and what do you get? And the evil ones that think they're about to run the show, I'm sorry, but they'll have to forget it. I'm your biggest fan. Well, WATP, uh, don't be mentioning alcohol then. Absolutely. Good evening. A Paisley man in Bournemouth, Neil O'Gormley, how lovely to have you with us. Guys, if you're on the YouTube, can you give me a thumbs up? There's a little thumbs up just to the bottom left. Uh, Scotty McClure is always 100% free, of course, but if anybody's feeling flush and would like to help the development of the program, then there is a new vehicle I shall put up for you. And you can see that. In fact, you can get it at the top right of the YouTube channel. So there we are. Scotsman Dinkido. Are the phone lines open, Scotty and Leonard? They're not open yet. They'll be opening in 30 seconds. When's the phone starting tonight? 30 seconds, Negan, as I've just said. Kareem's giving us a thumbs up. Good has always triumphed when people were properly aware of who was evil. A fairly recent but not current war proved this. Andrew, pretty quick. 
You are correct, but it's very interesting. Now, WATP72, what an idiot you are. You're going, Scotty McNee clue? I don't think so. You're either with us or you're against us. If you're against us, bye-bye. There we go. He's gone. Okay, that's the end of that. Uh, now then, who have we got here? All right, sunshine on leaf. How's it going, Chief? Love it. Lovely to have you. That's his name. Love it, we say to you. Right, time to open the phones. Let's hope they're working tonight. Uh, telephones are open, guys. 0141 628. Uh, there we are. Hang on just a wee second. 9795. 0141 628 9795. Quick as you like. You're live with Scotty's funny, and who's that? Thank you. Scotty, it's Kim. Oh, Karim. Well done. You're very, very quick. Thank you, Scotty. I had to Thank get you. rid of that idiot there because he was just being silly. Scotty McNee clue, you know. Scotty. We've had we've had this for 30 years, you know. Yeah, no, I've, I've kind of seen a lot more. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot more of the lives on TikTok yes. now, like getting into debates with people. So therefore, and you'll get the haters appearing. Oh, it's worrying when you see the mentality of these yes. people and, and how key, keyboard warriors and then... You know, if you were to challenge them in real life, they'll play victim and crumble. It's, it's quite sad. Yeah, well, I think since the Second World War, people have been dumbed down by a lot of television. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I think that's your problem. So they haven't got the, the, what can I say? They haven't got the cognitive development that they mm -hmm. should have at that stage. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so you'll see their point of view They'll never be able to see yours. Correct. Yeah. You see? I know. Now, anyway, yeah. never mind. We're not wasting time on the negatives, you know? Oh, Scotty, I'll, I won't go into too much detail about this, but there was some really good, uh, well, some information today regarding the independence uh, yes. for people that are interested in that. In Scotland, there were two very big meetings, uh, well, one big meeting today with Alex Salmond Alba. Mm -hmm. uh, and conveniently, the SNP has released their agenda for the big meeting in March. Oh, yes. uh, and one thing that is something that for people to look at, and I'm hoping the members are going to really hammer the politicians on this, Scotty, is that they've said, and I don't think this is democratic, but they've said, the SNP have said that they will put uh, the general election as a de facto. If yes. SNP win that, they will start negotiations with Westminster. However, if Westminster does not acknowledge or play ball, then they will use the next Scottish uh, elections for the Parliament as a de facto uh, election, and then they will negotiate with uh, again, Westminster, and I'm kind of thinking it's making you think you're Scotty. What, what's going on here? You know, it's like well, it's, it's it, England is absolutely terrified. I mean, there's a gentleman called Charlie yeah. B, and Charlie B says, We in England are horrified by independence because Scotland holds all the cards economically, and they're yeah. so rude to Scotland, they think by abusing Scotland. We'll carry on liking them. And the yeah. answer is, we can. now this is not England. We love England. It's a beautiful country stuffed with Absolutely. beautiful people. But this is the conservative Westminster government who go in and out like the weatherman and the weatherwoman. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, Labour, Tory, Labour, Tory, nothing new because we've got them all sorted out and they'll do what they're told. Now, the problem is uh, they're, they're absolutely in a panic. I mean, I don't know if you saw the Prime Minister being interviewed by a top Scottish journalist who kept okay. asking him the question and he kept avoiding it and doing a lot of sort of um, things like, um, oh, yes, we're doing everything we can for Scotland and look, you know, all this, but just avoiding the important question would you block it? What are you going to do, you know? <coughs> well, you know... Would, would you respect the de facto? Yeah. 
you know from the Supreme Court, uh, and that's that's shown that we are not a, a union of equals. Um, and it will be interesting. We won't go into too much detail about this, Scotty, but the, you know the gender reform bill, and there's talk that this Tuesday that the Westminster are going to override the, the democratic will of the Scottish Parliament to say, no, it's not happening. Well, there's a guy it. called David on the TikTok, and he says, maintain the union forevermore and a row of union flags from 1707. Now, um, in whose interests is it to say that? Certainly not mm -hmm. in the interests of Scotland or its people. Well, if you look at, just look at, I know at the moment the NHS is under a lot of pressure because we're in the winter, but yet again, Scotland is still outperforming the rest of the UK. And if you look at it just now down south, a lot of it's getting privatised, it's getting sold off. It's, it's really scary that so many people up here in Scotland live in a bubble because they don't see what's happening elsewhere and they don't appreciate. Uh, it's not perfect, it can be better, but we're doing pretty well considering the budget's getting slashed from down south. Well, this is it. I mean, when anybody criticises the Scottish government, you think, well, they don't hold the purse strings. Yeah. Now, yeah. David says here, it's in all our interests. David, that's not in the interests of the people of Scotland. Can you elaborate and tell us a good thing about the union and why yeah. it should be maintained forevermore? Because it was put together by skullduggery and jiggery-pokery by the monarch at the time, Queen Anne. She then yeah. died seven years later and left everyone in the shecht. Absolutely, Scotty. So it's it, it's quite worrying, but people need to wake up. And I think the only group that can, hopefully, if this is the SNP's master plan, that they have shown every route possible, the most democratic way, the most peaceful way, and that Scotland is sovereign in its own right, the next stage is the UN. It has to be, because if you're getting denied the opportunity, the people of Scotland are getting denied the opportunity just to answer again, yes or no, then it has to go to the next level. And you're going to get these trolls, and you're going to get these unionists to say the same things. Ah, but it was in 2014, things have changed from there. Well, listen, there's a guy from Vietnam, right, saying yes. Scotland already voted to remain. Now, already yeah. voted yeah. to remain, what, nine years ago now? And we've had Brexit yeah. since then, and we've also yeah. been robbed blind again since then. Yeah. Well, it was interesting because you always heard a lot of these people saying, ah, it's no generation, you have to wait a generation. No, we forget have, all that. We have had a no. generation. These are not reasons not to have independence. We need sound economic reasons for Scotland yes. to remain with the rest of the UK. Correct. Well, at the end of the day, Scotty, Scotland will thrive. And here's what he thought before I go for people to think about. And they talk about trade, trade, trade. It would be in England's best interest to continue and to negotiate trade because they need our trade just as much as we need to get it. And at the end of the day, once if Scotland votes yes, like Brexit, it will take about two and a half years for the negotiations. So the second it's been made official, Scotland Parliament can start to do things and make trade across the world. They can join EFTA straight away, which is free trading movement. And guess what? England are part of EFTA. So this nonsense about all oh, trade, trade, there would be no limitation between Scotland and England because they're both going to be in EFTA. So they start, they'll, they'll have that trade. So the barrier won't be an issue. And then within there, they should be joining NATO pretty much straight away, uh, or as quick as they can, and then after that, then put to the people, do we join Europe full-time, or do we stick with EFTA and what we've got? Karim, I shall talk to you EFTA. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Scott. Thank you, Dela. Lovely talking to you. What mm -hmm. a top man. So there we are. That is our Karim. Amazing stuff. Wonderful call to the telephones, guys. 01416289795. So there we are. Freedom, says Jason Thornton. Uh, who have we got? Celtic or Rangers, says North Streamer. Go and see them both play. Make your mind up. Scotty, it's Campbell again, do you think? 
Scotland will vote for independence. Uh, user 729, it's a dictator, not a dictatorship, sorry, not a union. So there we are. Here's Callum's joined us. So there you are. But comments like maintain the union forevermore. Why? You know, that's what we need to know. Uh, maintain the union forevermore. What would that be about? You live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's I that? Like to play a game. You'd like to play a game? Well, we don't play games on here. We straight talk. Now then, uh, what do we got here? Uh, once in a lifetime decision. J.D. Donnelly says, take down the butcher's rag. Uh, what a handsome fellow. There we are. Let's go, my dude, says Green Green. Spot on, Scotty. Uh, can't keep voting because you didn't get your way. It's not we didn't get our way. It's the fact that we've had Brexit. So you can keep voting. You're alive, Scotty's funny. And who's that? One <laughs> No. Uh, we can't have the idiots, guys. We don't have time for idiots. I'm sorry. Everything Scotland has is a product of empire and the union. No, no. Scotland's always been independent except for a 300-year blip. You're live with Scottish funny. And who's that? Um, hello. Uh, my name's Alex. Yes, and? Have you ever watched Saw? I've watched all sorts of things. Yes. You're live with Scottish funny. And who's that? Scott. Nobody. Right, okay. Vietnam, dinky do. Uh, have you got, uh, what do we got here? The cost of wine. So there we are, Vicky. We don't talk about that. You guys go independent. We'll throw the asylum seekers over the border. I think you already have done. You're live with Scottish Funny. And who's that? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. There we are. Thank you very much. Now then. Hello, Scotty. Best wishes from Nottingham, says Darren. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. I'm going to find a bomb, Scotty. I'm going to... There we go. Best wishes from Nottingham. Once in a lifetime decision, not all Vietnam. As many lifetime decisions as you like. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty. Yeah? Scotty. Yes, who's that? Scotty Who's that? Oh, this is Alex. I just have to oh my God, I killed them all. Oh, no. Right, there you are. Can we have witted idiots maybe call somebody else? Hello, pal. Good to see you on. Hello, Thomas. Thank you, dear. I think we'll not bother with that. There we are. Bye bye to that one. Right, there you go, guys. There's no point taking the half witted idiots just now. So we'll just leave them. Uh, hi, Sonia here. Sonia, I saw you do a beautiful TikTok the other day. What a top lady. Tremendous stuff. You looked amazing. And I send you all the best. Yes, lots of love to you. Fantastic. And your wonderful business. Lovely to hear from you. Scotty, think this Vietnam guy is just spamming and needs a trip down the swanee. Mikey G, he might well. The Range Rover behind you, Scotty. Yes, the P38. Very nice. There we are. Vicky, we don't talk about cheap wine on here, okay? Sorry to spoil your lifestyle. Celtic, Celtic, that's the team for me. Right, Dinky Do uh, says Scotty. How about that? I completed the rhyme for you. Um, how are you, my friend? I hope you're doing well. James, we're wonderful. Uh, Patrick says, massive surprise. Follow us as soon as you can. Hello, pal. Good to see you on. You too, Thomas. Here's Patrick on here with us. Fantastic. Right, we'll see who we got here, guys. Um, remember, if you're calling, please don't be an idiot. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Is that Scotty McClue? No, Scotty McClue. Scotty McClue, sorry. How is your mate going? Uh, who what is your first name, please? Um, it's Jason. Michael. Jason. Jason. J -A -S -O -N. Jason, lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. Dinky do. Have I just been watching you on the TikTok? You have, that's right. That's right. And it's lovely to hear you in the flesh, so to speak. What you up to? Uh, I'm doing a wee phone in for the nation. Are you enjoying it? It's quite good. I'm, I'm, 
we've been trying to get an answer about book fast if I'm honest. No, we don't talk <laughs> about stuff on here like that. So you'll not be getting any answers from that, Jason. Uh, there we are. Uh, OMG, these colors. I know, Sonia. What are they like? I don't think you'll be signing any of them. <laughs> Colin, thank you for following. Thank you. Sandra getting told, John, it's a mark of success. I love you. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. Do you have any recommendations for a right-way function? For a what? I don't know what you mean. There we are. Recommendations. There you are. No, you'll always get trolled when you start succeeding because these people, they want to be honest, like the kind of person that thumps a piano because they can't play it. These people have convinced themselves they can't converse. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. It's Kareem. Listen, I'm not going to stay on long because I was on it earlier. I know. But there's about five or six imposters of me on YouTube, and they are being so immature. It's unbelievable. Well, don't worry, Kareem. I shall go now and just remove them for life. Thank you. Thank you, Scotty. Right, laugh. What a great guy. That's our Kareem. Right, let's just take a second or two out, guys, just to remove the imposters for Kareem. So there we are. So off to the YouTube. And uh, there we are. Right, I've got them, Kareem. So that one, uh, he goes. Lovely. Fantastic. So he goes. And he goes. That's the way to do it. Uh, so there we have it. Lovely. Right. So that should be a few gone, I say. Um, now, who else have we got here? Uh, there we are. That's cream. Now, let me just see what we're dealing with here. Right, I think that's okay. That should be them away, Kareem. I would think. Guys, I'm just getting rid of some of the half-wits here. You always get told if you get something successful on the go. Uh, you know, you do something well, people start to hit you. Uh, so there we have it. Now, that should be okay. Kareem, is that you? Is that rid of most of the... Imposters. It should be. Yep. Uh, loose lips sink ships, says Alice. Quite right, Alice. Hello, Scotty, says uh, John Cleaver. There we are. I'd like to play a game. So there we are. The meat and potatoes of valor is winning, says Andrew. Fantastic. Uh, I'm talking. I am talking to the real Kareem Susan. I'm the real Kareem Susan, says Kareem. Uh, Scotty, you need moderators. Well, no, no, we'll just have to deal with them, Kareem. Uh, so there you are. How's that? Is that everything sorted? And uh, there we go. What's this one here? I just saw that. Yeah, that's fine. That should be you, Kareem. Fantastic stuff. Right. Uh, back we go to the telephones, and let's see what's happening here. Uh, wonderful. Maybe. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? You're all right, Scotty. All right, who's that? It's Daniel. How are you, Scotty? Daniel, excellent stuff. I'm always suspicious that people don't come on and say who they are right away. Right, right. Yeah, well, so I it's say, me, Scotty, don't worry too much. Oh, that's you, Daniel. Don't you worry. So, what I say is, I say, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Right. And that's when you say it's Daniel from Sheffield. Daniel from Sheffield. I remember me, Scotty. Of course I do. <laughs> How was your Christmas, Scotty? And it was absolutely outstanding, thank you. How was yours? Uh, oh, it was brilliant. I spent, I spent it with my dad. Hello, lovely. Well done. How's he doing? Is he okay? He's been brilliant. He's just watching you right now, believe it or not. Oh, hello, Daniel's dad. Dinky do. <laughs> <laughs> He's been watching you for years and years, Scotty, ever since you're on radio in Sheffield. There's a top man. That was a wonderful station and that was some fun yeah. in, I can't tell you. Well, you know what, Scotty, it's strange because I, I was watching you on New Year's and I, and, I, and I called up and I was showing my family and my auntie said, oh, uh, Scotty McClough, I used to listen to him years and years back. I used to fall asleep to Scotty McClough, so you're, 
You're well known in Sheffield, Scott. Oh, wonderful. Well, I love Sheffield. I've lived there twice, two years at a time, four years in right. Sheffield. Loved it. Yeah, well, you're an household name in my, in my house, Scott. Right, well, you tell everybody Scotty McClue's asking for them. And same thing. Dinky do. All right, then, Scotty. We'll have a nice stream and now take it easy. And mate. you, la, lovely to you. You dinky do. Love to the family. Thank you, do, Scotty. Same to you, mate. See you, mate. Sir, I la, see there, see there, yeah, see there. Right. <laughs> That's it. Daniel from Sheffield. We love all that. So there we are. You're live with Scotty's friend, and who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's me, Kareem. I don't think it is. Yes, there we are. Very unfunny. Your live has got his phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Mr. Scotty. I mean, I ended, uh, you know those shows that I've been phoning you? Ended up starting one of the shows. Who's that? Sorry, I didn't hear you there. Uh, there we are. We seem to have lost you. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Happy New Year. Colin Mingus. Happy New Year. There we are. Somebody post the phone number. I shall do it. Your live has got his phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. How are you doing? I just want to tell you, I killed all those trolls. Your life has got his phone in, who's that? Fast, fast. There we are, there we are, fat, fast. That was fat, fast phoning, folks, he was a bit slow. McClue, McClue, the Sea of Ibrox here, Dick, you do, Mr. McClue. Samantha likes your video. There we are. Is the connection gone, or is that me? That's you. Your life has got his phone in, who's that? It's David Scotty, how are you, son? You're right. David, how lovely to hear you. What a relief from these half witted idiots. I, I know they're really, they're really driving me up the wall. They are, they are not good. I mean, but anyway, you try to do your best to get rid of them, and it's just like they're just coming and they've got some Kareem, Kareem, all oh, cats. They're just, I get it's right, but anyway, we'll move on for that. So we'll right? move on. They get very <laughs> jealous, David. You see, the green eyed monster comes out. I know, but I mean, it, but it's just um, because things are trying to say, and then once you get around, do you want to play a game? What, what, what are you talking about? Do you want to play a game? I know. I remember people used to say, what's the game in Glasgow? Hey, excuse me, what's the game? What's your game? <laughs> that's, that's right. That's just got his crying. What's your game, mate? Do you know what I mean, mate? What's your game, mate? Have you got a problem? What are you about? Do you know what What's, what, what kind of crack are you giving me here? <laughs> right, I, I'm just suggesting uh, for the topic God ever on. I, 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 I like to pray. I pray quite a lot. Uh -huh. Okay. And I, right, but I, I know God is listening to me. What's really happened? There's the evil queen saying, I am the real evil queen. Right? Lovely. Oh, uh, now, goodness. David, what's actually happening now in the world? You know, there's been a lot of talk about uh, the, the the rich people running the show and all that, Aye. and 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 the government don't care and no government cares and anything. But what's interesting, the people Aye. have reacted, and they've all started going back to God. Yeah, well, and therefore, <laughs> an earthly person won't carry yeah. the same weight as God. Well, I, I, I pray a lot, Scotty, I don't know about you, and I, and I mean that's for my soul, I know God is, I know God is listening to me. Of, of course he is. God listens to us. Oh, there is this power superior to mankind, uh, because let's be honest, David, you wouldn't uh, like to think that any of these so-called world leaders are the superior power on the planet. These world leaders are pathetic. The government is... The government is upsetting a lot of things, Scotty. You know this, and I know, right? And what we're seeing on, right? You know, you, you're on TikTok, so am I. But I'm not putting the real beliefs on TV. What's going on? No, no, right? And I, no, of course they're not, because they don't want everybody to know, to know what's going on. And and and, and I believe I, I don't know, Scotty. I don't know about you, but I think we're in big, big, deep trouble. What is happening. Well, well I think crazy. that's why everybody's going back to God.
I haven't watched the videos. I've seen boom, 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 you're all dead. Well, wait till I tell you this. Do you remember uh, Iona? You know Iona, the little island off the west coast, Iona? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, that island in the 1930s, the uh -huh. minister of Govan Old Parish Church, George uh -huh. McLeod, right? Yes. Wonderful man, very hardworking uh -huh. man, Lord McLeod uh -huh. of Funerary. He ended up being yeah. the Lord Rector of Glasgow University. And he uh, oh. stayed in the West End. Nice guy, wonderful man, pacifist, oh. was decorated, was wounded in the First World War with the Argyles, was oh. uh, given an MC, Military Cross, and then yeah. uh, he decided afterwards that this was just wrong, all this war and killing. And he became a oh. lifelong pacifist, and he got a load of young ministers together, and they rebuilt Iona Abbey. Yes, okay. Yes, right. Now, uh -huh. the, the, I mean, this is what's amazing. Somebody yeah, then yeah. went to him uh, uh -huh. and uh, he, they had prayers every night at nine o'clock. Uh -huh. And somebody said to him, can we not have the prayers at nine o'clock tonight, George? And he said, yeah. why would that be? And he said, because mm. the king is speaking on the wireless. He said, yeah. we will have prayers at nine o'clock and we will speak to the King of Kings. Oh, uh, amazing. Isn't that uh, amazing? That uh, is so good. You know I and mean? that was George. And yeah, he was he well, talking. well respected by the royal family. I mean, Prince Philip uh, used to say to people, has George put you up to this, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, he was, a, uh, yeah, he was a Queen's chaplain and everything. And but he was just a very... Hard working man for ordinary people. Oh, that's amazing. So good stuff. There was you know him. I mean, son, you know? So at nine o'clock, <laughs> he says, We will worship the King of Kings. <laughs> uh, that's that so good. Do you know what I mean? I, I, as, I, 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 as I said, you know, I pray a lot because it's important to me. You know what I mean? I pray for many things. Probably like, like yourself, you know what I mean? And so well, Davy, I think you're about to be joined by virtually every decent human being in the world. Yeah. Oh, so I oh, think the power of you know. prayer will banish the evil. Oh, well, well, I hope it can banish all the evils. But, Scotty, I think they're ready to, to do something soon, all these people. Well, so we... Apparently, we I, I, apparently, I've got to watch what I'm saying because I keep, I keep it struck down. Oh, yes, I you don't, don't want like that. No, no. Like we, we can so, talk um, We can talk in slightly veiled terms, if you get me. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Uh, it's a shame we can't talk the real terms. Scottish. Well, if we talk the real terms, we just get shut down. Oh, we do. We're you not know. allowed to say how we're feeling. At the moment. Right? Yes. You know what I mean? It's all right. I mean, I'm not, as I said, do you think something could happen? You tell me. Oh, uh, well, oh, no, listen, in the world, all sorts of things could happen. I mean, a lot uh -huh. of the mess uh, that you're seeing yeah. at the moment is not incompetence. It's uh, no. it's intentional. And, and all that's hotel business, they're all in there and they're sacking their own people to put them in and people's not happy. Oh. In Ireland, Ireland started, I was up in an uproar. Yes, that well, as I, as I say, what we'll find, we'll not say too much, but I think what okay. we'll find is that people will return to God and the power of prayer will be yeah. massive. Oh, yes, um, this my friend, I mean, I better let you go, do you know what I mean? No, you but know? it's wonderful, <laughs> listen, it's just a privilege talking to you, my friend. Right, oh, yeah, oh, George just popped out, he wants to say hello, are you okay? Well, I think he should do, that'd be lovely. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. John, how are you getting on, my boy? Are you dinky, dude? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm dinky, dude, so I'm fantastic. Fantastic, lovely to hear you. As you do with me, as you know, Scott, uh, me and David are going to leave a uh, difficult time in the hotel. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're best of friends. For, uh, of course. Of 25 years, and we shall remain best of friends. Of course, you and know. you will you will rise to the challenge, the pair of you. Absolutely. We say, <laughs> we, we say we're, we're, best, we're best of friends, and we're getting on better than ever. And now they're on the land apart, so what I mean. And I send you both love, and I send you all the strength and best wishes in the world. 
Scotty, right back at you, my friend. Lovely talking to you, John, and dinky do. See you, lads. Love you, la love you, you lots. Bye. Night night. There we are. That's your <laughs> John. Fantastic call, Davy and John. Uh, Evil Queen, are you? I ah, heck, I reset my app to see if I can get it up to date. Myth, what's going on? You're live with Scotty's funny, and who's that? Hello, Scotty, it's Michael. Michael, how are you? Uh, good, thanks. Lovely to hear you. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Michael couldn't hold the conversation, but not a bad start. Your life has got his foot in. Who's that? I am it him. Uh, no, no, it's not him. There we go. Must have the wrong number. What's the number? The number is 0141628-9795. So there we are. That's it there, guys. Okay. Your life has got his foot in. Who's that? Thank you, do, Scotty. Thank you, do. I've got a question for you. I want, I want you. I want you to answer. Right? What's your first name? Every time my wife tries to drink the water, I drop trick of the <laughs> Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, do. It's John. John, lovely to hear you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm doing not too bad. How are you? I'm very well. What's happening, John? I'm just giving you a call. I just want to find out your thoughts on Prince Harry. <laughs> The book, I haven't read the book, John, so I couldn't tell you. But from what I've heard of it, there's two strands coming out here. One is that um, he's he's very good. He's very articulate, uh, you know, with his education and all that. And um, he's, he's doing very well. Uh, and uh, he says it was a lie that he was boasting about killing uh, all these people in Afghanistan. He says that's a lie for the British media. But then, on the other hand, people are saying, what is he actually Margaret, doing? I'm on the phone. Sorry. Sorry? Sorry, Margaret came in. I'm on the phone. She didn't know it was on the oh, phone. She didn't know. He's on the phone, Margaret. Thank you, do. Get away. <laughs> so what do you think about it then? I think, what's the price of butt flash nowadays? Well, we don't know. We don't drink. You're live with Scottish phone in, who's that? Oh, uh, am, I, am I on? Uh, yes, you're on live. Oh, hello, uh, it's me. Uh, so my uh, TikTok username is uh, Bev Live. Right, Bev Live, how are we? I'm very good, thank you. Um, I did a video about you last week. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, I am the one who was listening to you as a kid when you were on Century FM. Oh, wow. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. Mm. Listen, Bev Live. I've got you now. Thank you very much for that. I hope you don't mind, but I sent it round. No, absolutely. Um, Scotty, you are a genuinely a, just such a brilliant person to listen to on the radio. Um, and I genuinely have missed your phone-ins. Uh, that's very kind of you to say so, Bev, because we try to give everybody a really good quality product. Yep. You know, and, um, and answer all the questions. And it's obviously a bit painful, these silly wee half-witted idiots phoning up, but yes. it, they get attracted. They don't have the confidence to hold a conversation. <laughs> and they get attracted, you see. And century, century, all the phone-ins, every radio station I've been at, Bev, all these phone-ins uh, have just been incredible. They've blown my mind as well as the public's mind because oh. of the quality of chat that we did. <laughs> you know? Quality is, I think, the word there. Um, I was going to ask while, while I'm on with you. Yes. Um, on Century FM years ago, you told a story about the origin of Dinky Do. Dinky Do, yes. Is it, is it true about the Roman soldier? Well, I would knew you need to research that. What it was was it was the Emperor Zero, and okay. um, the Romans were leaving Britain because they couldn't stand the cold anymore, and they couldn't stand the rain in places like Manchester. And, uh, and, and and Chester and all that sort of stuff. 
So they all gathered in front of the Emperor Zero, and he put his hand up, and he said, Oh, Romans, friends, Romans, and countrymen. And they all shut up, and they went, Whoa, Zero. And then he said, Dinky do. And they all said, Dinky do, Zero. And then some of them stayed to open pizza shops and fish and chip shops, and the rest marched back to Rome. Oh, I think that's brilliant. So there are now, whether it's true or not, you'll have to tell me. Well, yeah, I'll have to look into it. Um, I also, last uh, when was it now? March last year, I was up. Uh, have you ever been to um, Ayrshire? Yes, many times. Oh, I was up there for a holiday, my first proper holiday in Scotland. It was in Ayrshire. Oh, oh my, uh, Scotty, you are from such a beautiful country. Isn't it lovely? Oh, Scotland is genuinely one of the most beautiful places on this planet. It and, really and, is. And Ayrshire is very beautiful, but there's so many. There's Argyll, there's Perthshire. There's uh, there's D Royal D side. There are the mm. islands, you know, yeah, Mull and Iona I, and Skye and all that. I, uh, I got to I got to visit a friend of mine. She lives over in Fife, which right. is uh, I believe just north of Edinburgh. Yes, over the yeah. Fourth Bridge. That's right. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, so Scotland is a genuinely beautiful country, and uh, Scotty, it's been a pleasure chatting to you. Thank you so much for Listen, accepting Beth, my call. Listen, thank you for your lovely video. I genuinely got such a surprise, and I appreciated it so much. I thought this oh, has you. to go live. Thank you very much. So it's been a pleasure talking to you. Listen, and I hope uh, we'll hear from you again sometime. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You've got the number. Bless you, Bev. And dinky you Thank do. you very much. I'll see you soon, Dinky Doo. See you later, Dinky Doo. What a nice man. Now, there you are. Are you alive with Scottish phone in? Who's that? Ah, it's Ryan. Dinky Doo, how's it going? Who's that? Sorry, it's... It's Ryan. Ryan! Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Brian! Ryan, Arthur Rory. Arthur Rory, I've got you, Ryan. Lovely. Thanks for coming. What can I do for you? I thought just looking to see if you could answer a question for me in this day and age. Do you think Jesus would wait front to back or back to front? I don't know. I think he'll come down walking forwards uh, into the fray. Hello from Aberdeen, Dinky Doo. Uh, how do you phone in? You pick up your telephone, you dial 0141 628 9795 and we chat. You're live with Scottish Funny, and who's that? Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well. Who's that? Uh, William. William, what can I do for you? Can you sing my song? I'll sing your song at the end of the show, son. No bother. So there you have it. Hi from Mary Hills, is John. Wonderful to have you with us. You're live with Scottish Funny, and who's that? Very good evening. Scotty. A very good evening to you. Is that Professor Numpteed? Sir Numpteed, Scotty. Sir Numpteed. Sir, Sir Professor. Professor, Professor Dr. Uh, Numpteed. Now then. No, listen, it's my birthday today. Oh, I'm happy surprised. birthday, Numpteed. Didn't he tell the world you all be saying happy birthday? I didn't birthday. know you had a birthday. I thought the woodcutter from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang made you. Well, listen, I'm surprised I'm still sober, Scotty. I'm surprised that we're all still chatting. <laughs> uh, now, you know, we, today being my birthday... Well, Happy I'm birthday, gonna... seriously, enough to heat. Happy birthday. And now do you see what you've started with this phone in? Oh, aye, aye, but, but listen, you're a Scotty. Guess what I went and found it? What did you went and find it? Um, I was three weeks out of due. I was meant to be born on Christmas Day. Oh, right, and you, you thought you'd hang about for a bit. That was three weeks overdue. Well, so I think uh, this was you just using your high intelligence and saying, Ma, if it's okay with you, I'll stay where I am because the weather's rubbish. Because the last time I was here, I got crucified. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you heard your mother. You heard your mother saying, Oh, this is terrible weather to have a wean. 
Scotty, you'll never guess what. I'll never guess. No, you're right there. Well, I'm ruined. I'm going to end up bankrupt, Scotty. I went and left a light on last night. Oh, no. Human. What have I told you about leaving a big light on? Well, it's going to cost the earth. It will cost the earth. Was it the whole light? No, it was a cupboard light. Oh. I shut the door. Oh, I've done that myself. That's not as bad as the whole light. If you leave the whole light on. No, 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 it was a cupboard door. I was in the cupboard day and I've shut the door for going for the light. You forgot oh, to put the light out and oh, listen. Oh, oh. Your, your, your father would have gone bananas at that. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not mind the, the day when they, they used to they used to come round with a face like thunder going, who was last in that room? Oh, Ken. Oh, sorry. The lights on. Oh. Yeah. You left the light on when I was away. Oh. I thought I'd tell you. If you put a light on when I was away. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Scotty, I've got good news. Good news. I love it. Happy birthday again. This is great. All right. But, but listen, my piano, it's arrived in the UK. You've got your piano. It's, no, it's arrived in the UK. It's in ah. London now. Right. Just a wee second. I'm here to important housekeeping. Can everybody watching the YouTube channel please subscribe right now? It's free. There we are. That's them told. Right. Sorry, Numb to Right. Mind I tell you, I went and ordered a piano when I was a piano? steaming. Yes. And, uh, no, you weren't cleaner. steaming. You'd had a light refreshment. Aye, but I must have been steaming if I ordered a piano for China. Well, you might have had a light refreshment thought, I'll take a piano from China. Aye, well, the three forces, so I thought, ah, oh, come here, so I'll get Absolutely. Anyway, it's arrived in the UK, so I should maybe get it next week, Scotty. Oh, wow, that would be absolutely amazing. Now, uh, yeah. are you going, do you play the piano? No. no all right, no, all right. No. So are you going to use it as an ornament? No, Scotty, Scotty, I'm planning to uh, pass the time learning. Right, well, I hope you've, I hope you've viewed Scotty McClue's lesson on how to play the piano in seven minutes. Well, I'll give it a try. I'll uh -huh. give it a try, Scotty. Yeah, try, I tell yeah. you. That would be well, wonderful. Before, before I go, Scotty, I need to tell you a true story. These just sent me a mic as a gift on TikTok. Very nice, very nice. Isn't that lovely? No, before I go, Scotty, I need to tell you a true story. I've been made to tell you a story. Right, right. Uh, about time. Right. Well, there was a, when I stayed in Leith, Anna Pennington had stayed up the stairs. And uh, she needed a, a, a new telly reaching. Do you know how we're all digital now? The digital, yes. I have an idea. Uh, one, of the, one of the channels had went off and said, please retune your box. Well, she was in her 80s, so she says, I've lost uh, one of my channels, can you help me? Uh -huh. I tuned her belly for her, Scotty. You know what? It was come out, found 252 <coughs> channels. Oh! She went, there's the health come and she says, what are they? I don't want them. I hope I'm not paying for them. I says, I can't do nothing about it. There's uh -huh. channels that come with a belly. But oh. you only one, two, three, four. <coughs> so, I can remember that the first telly we had had got one channel and it was just BBC television. There was no BBC two. And did you get the telly for the Queen's coronation? Story? No, no, it was a bit later. We got it in 1960 and we had a big, one of the big tenement flats and my father was standing on the dining table with a big pole aerial, putting it across the window, going, how's that? And we were going, yeah, no, 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 better than, <laughs> no, go back to where you were, pa. <laughs> but, but the thing is, when they come to you sit down, well, you post the picture, you need to send them back to the window and with the aerial, you know? Yes. Well, is it? Do you mind the two wee aerials with the wee red plastic tops? And no, they I sat. Aye, and they sat on top of the telly. Aye, aye, they were like the um, <laughs> the little like the wee robots that you remember the tatties. That's, that's it. The tatties, the wee robots. The wee robots. That's right. They were just like that. And you, and you got that. Uh huh. 
Yes, and then uh, and then I can remember yeah. colour coming in and running through to my mother going, you want to come and see this grass? It's just green. <laughs> I'll tell you, I bet a lot of folk were confused when they first seen a coloured tail. They must have thought they were coloured. Oh, green. they must have wondered <laughs> what was going on. And, of course, the, the television stations had to change all their cameras. Well, let me tell you this. This is a true fact, Scotty. The game of snooker only became popular because of the coloured telly. Well, I, well, how are you going to see what they were potting? Because they were telling you that the, the pink was behind the blue. The boy would tell you. On black and white. Right, here's a wee story for you. You'll love this. When I worked for ITV, we got a message one night to say, that because, you know, there were 15 ITV companies and they all had oh, to sort of keep up with what they were all doing so you get the different programs. That's how you get things like Coronation Street and Emmerdale and Take the High Road down south and all that stuff. And oh. so they all coordinated it. They were brilliant. And one night, the boy said, I was in duty doing my announcing, announcing and the boy came in and he says, uh, can you announce the opening of the snooker? He said, I'd get it right because your mic's live to the whole country. So suddenly, oh. suddenly about 60 million people could have heard me and I had to say, I can't remember what it was, something like, good evening and welcome to the Guild Hall in Preston. <laughs> was, that, was that when you worked in that area, Scotty? No, I was nowhere near that. No, no, I was I was doing that from Aberdeen. <laughs> you, you came to just the snooker for mainstream telly for Aberdeen. For Aberdeen, so there we are. It was just the way it was rooted, you know what I mean? They said, it's taking well, the well, scenic well, route. Can well, you can you well, announce or well, top and tail it? Aye, but listen, that would have been your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, it was wonderful. I thought, I need to get this right. I need to watch what uh -huh. I say. As soon as that right. light went red, I thought, this is just incredible. And it was a lovely right. moment. You know, it doesn't, it won't mean anything to anybody else. But it meant a lot to me. <laughs> well, Scotty, Scotty, a quick time check. It's three minutes to uh, three minutes to ten. Oh so gosh! I go because I'm dying on a fact. Not to heed. We, we better go. You give up the facts, but since it's you, I will choose to cut you off as a favour, a birthday favour to an old pal. How about that? And that's fair enough for me. Does that dig me down? A birthday, a birthday favour. To Stay where you are, and what I'll do is cut you off. <laughs> That's not to eat. <laughs> You're live in Scottish Funning. Who's that? Overweight. You're overweight. You're waiting too long. There we are. That's it. Fantastic. Now, guys, we're just about out of time. We're going to lose our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. But we say thank you to every single one of you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the evening and a massive, massive dinky-doo to every single one of you. Beautiful, beautiful people. Stay fabulous. Stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Ta-ta. There we are. That's our beautiful TikTokers. Had to go. We'll catch up soon. Wonderful, wonderful people. Now then, YouTubers, how are we all getting on here? Uh, see you later, mate. Cheers, dinky do. You're welcome. See you, Susan. Glenn says, hey uh, No, Susan Scotty hasn't banned me, but thanks for letting me know my imposter's been on. Yes, well, we did dump him, Kareem, so don't worry. Scotty, there's a fake. Is there another fake? Hang on. I'll have a look through and see if I can get him. I think we've got most of the fakes, guys. Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem again. I know everybody's off. My poster's still on. He's basically last one's messaged on YouTube there. Can, well, I just thank can, you, can you tell me uh, what he said, Kareem? Or is it, is that, are you able no, to I'll, tell me what he said? Yeah, one second. I'll, check, I'll, I'll read uh -huh. one of the comments. One second. Just another look just now. Um, I'll put you on speaker, Scotty. Lovely. Yes, um, I am on speaker in Kareem's. Uh, 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 yeah. Right, Scotty, that should be better. One second, thanks. Uh -huh. So, the one that says, I'm removing himself. He says, What, sorry? 
to go back up and says, thank you, Duster. I always knew I could trust you. He's removed himself because he put messages just there. So. Well, wait a wee minute. Um, Hang on. I've got him. Yeah. Message retracted. And he's gone. He's just on a lifetime ban. So there you go. That's him, Karim. You'll not be hearing any more from him. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks for your time, OK? I bless you. Thank you for yours. And as we say in the best of circles, dinky do. Thank you, Scotty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Karim. There we are. Fantastic guy. Super guy, Karim. Lovely to hear from him. And uh, we obviously apologise for these half-witted idiots. But I think it's a byproduct of success, guys. I think this is what happens. If you get it right, then uh, you're going to get these people. You know, there's nothing we can do about that now. Uh, what we'll do, if you hold on a minute, we'll just, we'll just cut off the half wits. There we are, because we don't want them making a nuisance of themselves. Right, that's the end of the half wits just now. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go live again for you and see if we can just, uh, there we are, fantastic. We'll go live again on the old uh, TikTok. Wonderful stuff. Fantastic. And then we'll stay up for just a few minutes uh, and let uh, people that couldn't get through get a bit of a crack at the whip. I think that's only fair. Uh, so there we are. Right. Now, here we are. You're live on Scotty's phone in. What's your first name? Uh, John, Jonathan, uh, hello, thank you, Dave, Scotty. I've, I've got a question for you. Have John, you, John have, you got, uh, have, you got, have you got any medicine for uh, to make your dick smaller? There we are. Any medicine to make your friend smaller? No, I think that's you getting in to the realms of science there, uh, Jonathan. So there we are, guys. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we're getting the odd half-witted idiot. But don't worry about that. We will sort them out. <laughs> there we are. Now then, uh, give us a decent call. You know, don't come on with just uh, wasting your time. Try and be a bit more to yourself. And try and credit yourself. That's what I say when you're phoning. And if you're watching now on the TikTok, feel free to give us a call. There we are. You're live with Scotty's phone in. What's your first name? Hello, Scotty. My name's John. John, uh, take it. I've got a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Martin. How are you? Man? Martin, how lovely to hear you. And I saw your lovely message earlier. Yeah. And dinky do, I say to you. How amazing are you? Very, 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 very well, mate. You're well, and your show's going well. Yes, you should um, you should um, give me a follow, so 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 I make you watch me. Yes, yes, I will give you a follow. I will. I'll have to catch up, Martin. You'll have to give me a wee chance. Yes, you will, because because if you follow me, I can send you an invite to watch my live. Oh wow! Right, I I get it now. Where is it on? Is it YouTube? No, tech. TikTok. Oh, it's on TikTok, right? Okay. Yes, absolutely. Oh, the only man. thing is, I tend not to follow on TikTok because every day it puts people's noses out of joint. No way. Yeah, they go, How come you followed him and no me? And all that stuff. So, oh, you've no idea, Martin. It could cause an absolute stushy. I'm on, um, I'm on YouTube now. So, right. How's it looking? How's the YouTube looking? Is the picture looking good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The person looking a hundred percent, mate. Excellent, so. excellent stuff. Lovely, lovely. And you're well. Yeah. Yes, wonderful. We like that. Hi, Scotty. Hiya. How are you doing? Are you okay? I'm very well, thank you. Fantastic. Lovely to hear somebody, you. Um, somebody told me you've had the halfway. I did it tonight, and you're live again. Oh, we've had a few. Well, we've had a lot of very clever geniuses on the live tonight. Uh -huh. And they've been absolutely amazing. Cool. There's Callum from North Carolina. But we've also had a few halfwits who don't have the confidence to have a conversation and think they'll be funny. 
and they're not did, funny at all, poor things. Did you did you get that one that starts with again? That that um, what's his name? No, day, no, uh, no, we uh, sorted him. No good. And um, I'm I'm still watching Take the Hilo still on an old channel, but I thought that's some good still. Right, and is it is it good stuff? I am almost at the better tune now of it, so <laughs> oh wow. You're fantastic. Yeah. Lovely to hear you, Martin. Hey, and as we say in the best of circles, thank you, do. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, do, my man. I love you lots. Thanks, Martin. There mm -hmm. we are, top man. Martin's got a channel going. Scotty, I love your content. Thanks for making my evening. Thank you, Lewis. What language is this, says Claudia? This is Scottish Claudia. Uh, people who are as bright as a 10-watt bulb. <laughs> Absolutely. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Who's your first name? Hello. Hello. Hello, Elise. Can, can you turn, Elise, can you turn your background down? Hello, can you turn the background down? I turned it down. Oh, it down. wonderful, Elise. How lovely to hear you. And thank you for your Hello. lovely comments. Oh, Scotty, I just wanted to call in tonight because it just seems like the crazies are out. And I oh. wanted to tonight just thank uh, nurses in this country. Um, my beloved mother is in hospital. And uh, I'm just really acknowledging the love, care, attention and dedication that these remarkable people bring to this country. And uh, I just wanted to sort of say this to all your your listeners that just these nurses are quite quite angelic, remarkable. <laughs> oh, at least listen, it's so lovely to hear you. I've seen some of your wonderful comments, and please yeah. send love to your wonderful mother from everyone mm -hmm. in the world. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You know, and as and I said, as I, I said in the comments earlier. Um, about positive thoughts and and how good and God conquers all. And so just holding her in the space of love and positive thoughts for whatever the outcome. So, But but in that, I just wanted to thank everyone who's caring for her. And actually, all the nurses are caring for everyone in this country. Oh, at least that's fantastic. And after a night like tonight, it's so good to get a, a quality call from somebody like yourself well scotty that's why i called you i mean it's just what a waste of time and uh but there's nothing better to do uh especially how the world is today and so many people hurting and so many people without and so many people cold and 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 just life is hard for people at the moment and i just want to thank you for everything you do because you really do lighten people's lives. And I mean, I've been aware of you for many, many years and wherever I've lived in the country, I've listened to your radio show. And I just, I feel the care and love you have for people who call in. And I've actually heard you help so many people. And uh, I just wanted to use this platform to say thank you to everyone and stay with positive thoughts and to look after neighbours and friends and and to live life in a more positive, happy, um, loving way. And that's all. At least, can I ask you a question? I mean, I don't know your religion or beliefs or background, or even if you have one, none of that really is, uh, is a problem. What I'm interested in, in this huge movement, we've heard about a lot of nasty things happening in the world. And this huge uh -huh. movement of returning mm. to God. Yes, 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 yes. Well, my belief is whatever the name you, you choose to call, the power that is, I think, manifests from us all. It's, it's our mass consciousness belief of goodness. And whether you call it God or whatever you call it or refer to that greater power, that's the power that I actually see so many people waking up to. And I think the ultimate is actually truth. Um, and when we all live more in kindness, truth, compassion, understanding, having more patience with people, being understanding whatever someone's belief and however contradictory that belief is, 
understandings of life, to accept all beliefs. Um, and, and that just makes the world an easier, kinder place to say thank you more often. So, Scotty, whatever the name for someone's belief in goodness, um, that's, that's where I live my life more and more. And the more I meet people sort of visiting mom in the hospital, the more I'm meeting remarkable people who are sick but listening to their life stories and the stories of human beings really being kind and caring and looking out for their neighbors and friends. So I don't have a name for it. I think it's just truth, love, and kindness. So God's <laughs> power is the ultimate truth and a gathering of the goodness of humanity and the goodness mm -hmm. of, of the universe. Yes, yes, yes. And again, Cody, it's, it's however you choose to phrase it. What we do good people, the better we feel in ourselves as well. And the more, you know, if you see someone and you give them a smile, then that smile makes a difference in that person's life. And they feel happier, but also we feel happier. And I think in these days of sort of fear and division where we're sort of set against each other and arguments and, you know, and get these people fighting against those, the more we come together just as good humans who are there for our neighbours, there for our family and our friends, then the better the world becomes because then we're taking back our own power. Uh, the more we give it away to whoever, you know, politicians, whoever, whatever, um, the more disenfranchised we are. But we as humans are wonderful. And we're, every day in the news we're told how terrible we are and how terrible things are. But actually, when I look around where I live, when I look at the care in that hospital, when I look at real human beings, that to me shows me actually this is a really wonderful world. So we need to remember that more on an everyday basis, that actually we're good people. The majority, majority of us care about other people and it's just it's almost like turn the news off stop watching that um and be true to yourself be true to yourself and be kind to your neighbors i mean that's it it's simple and this <laughs> and this is amazing you've attracted three comments here one is what's your thought oh, wow. on the universe the other one is jeff saying oh. the big bang and stephen says mm -hmm. anyone can believe in what they like but if there truly is a God, why so much suffering on mm. earth? My answer to Stephen would be because that's the work of the devil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, so, so the first question was what? The first question what was, was what are your thoughts on mm -hmm. the universe? And you've just given them. And okay. Jeff <laughs> says the big bang. And Stephen says mm -hmm. anyone can believe in what they like. But if there truly is a God, mm -hmm. why so much suffering on earth? Okay. Well, I would say if you look at the majority of the world and the majority of people and not actually believing everything we see on news or uh, in the newspapers, the world is actually a good place. And, I, and also, yes, there is suffering. There is suffering everywhere. Um, but the more of us who are kind, loving, compassionate, caring, um, uh, thinking of other people, uh, being more tolerant of, of different beliefs. We don't need to argue about someone else having a different belief. It's just that's where they are. Um, and so, yes, there's good, there's bad. But the more of us who focus on the good, the more of us who have positive thoughts, the more of us who are kind, then the world becomes a better place. You know, every day we're, we're fed fear. Everything we look at, read, hear about is about fear and people being, you know, unhappy, bad, angry, violent. That for me is not how most human beings are. Well, certainly not the people I meet every day. So, you know, for me, it's, it's really what you put out into the world. 
how you choose to see the world. That's, that's how I feel about it. You see, it. here's an interesting one from Stephen. Thank you, Elise, for that. Uh, Stephen says, I mean, AIDS, cancer, illnesses, everything which are out of human hands. Now, I would say all of these mm. are actually in human hands. And that all these illnesses are uh, as a result of the lifestyle that humans are subjected to and are living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, Scotty, I'd agree with a lot of that. Um, we do have choices in life. Um, and, and of course, I understand there are uh, terrible, terrible conditions out there. Um, but there are all sorts of ways that we can sort of look after ourselves more. One of the biggest killers, one of the biggest things that affects people's health actually is stress. Uh, and whether that's heart disease or cancer, these are all affected by the stresses we live under and, and, and uh, just experience every day. You know, life is hard for most people. And I understand that. I get that. But I also know that every one of us even in a tiny way, can be kind to one person. Even if we're kind to one person a day, we make a difference. And it's almost like we could start a new virus and a virus of compassion to be kinder, more tolerant, um, more patient, more understanding with whoever, whatever they believe. Um, it just makes the world easier and and, and actually, we feel better. You know, I know I feel better when I have been kind rather than if I've been tired and I've been short-tempered. I feel better if I'm kinder. So it affects my stress levels by just being as, as good a person as I can be every day. And I don't mean to sound holier than thou at all because, you know, I, I, I lose the plot too. You know, things life gets tough. But, but also I remind myself that I feel better when I am kinder, that's all. And I'm not in any way, you know, professing to be anything other than really a human being doing the best I can. This, this is all I do every day, is be as nice as I can, as kind as I am. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know any answers, by the way. I don't know. Well, I don't know. You've, you've provided us with a lot of answers tonight. And there's Stephen saying, <laughs> what about COVID, for instance? That isn't down to lifestyles. Well, it actually is because we think that was created and put out, you know? So, mm -hmm. so you know, it could so well I, be. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, would, I would put COVID with every other disease and ailment, that everything, whatever we've got, you know, if we have got COVID and we're in hospital, then the kindness to nurses, kindness and thoughtfulness to our family. I'm not saying there is no disease. I'm saying, of course, there are diseases. And of course, there are situations where people are in a great deal of pain. But all I'm saying, I mean, you know, I'm saying this from, from a very simple perspective of, I just know how I feel better when I can be kinder um, and, and sort of hold a space for someone who is feeling ill, down, worried, stressed, um, because this is all any of us can do. And of course, there's all of these horrors out there, but by all of us just choosing to be nicer in a moment makes everything kinder for everyone. I've been thanking the nurses, you know, taking cards in, and, and the joy that that gives me because I see the joy in them that they're being thanked for a wonderful job. Um, you know, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Just be nicer. At least you helpful. have absolutely made everyone's night. We we're just about to finish the show. We would have one or two oh, dafties oh, on. Much. And then we got you on, and it's been an absolute joy and a treat. And please, as I say, to oh. all the love of the universe. Mm -hmm to your mother and mm. to you and to oh, your lovely family. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank been you a so privilege. That, it's been a privilege having you on the show and you've just raised the oh. game by a million percent. <laughs> listen, so, listen, before you go, see my mom tomorrow. there are yes. some comments here about oh, you yeah. and um, we've got Noctihit oh. and Noctihit, Professor yeah. Noctihit, I hope this lady calls mm -hmm. again soon. What a joy to listen oh. to. 
Sean McGuire says. Scotty, can, you, Scotty, Scotty, can you say to Professor Numpteed, happy birthday from me? <laughs> happy birthday to Professor Numpteed. And Sean McGuire says she is a great human being. And Jerry Thompson, oh, so Jerry Thompson mm -hmm. says, yeah, she's lovely lady. Put her on the show. Oh my God. And can you say to all them that they are wonderful people too? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. we certainly can. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. And think you do. Respect yeah. as always, it's oh, coming on here. Oh, and, and thank you too. Thank you so much, Scotty. At least take care. <laughs> yes. And as I say, love to your mum. And please do call us again because we love to hear you. Oh, <laughs> all right. And as thank we say you. in the very thank best you. of circles, Dinky do. Uh, oh, dinky do. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Elise. There we are. What a fabulous lady. An amazing call. What uh, who have we got here? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ah, uh, you're like me. I'm fucking John Craven. You're who? So there you are. There we are. Uh, you said something. He's bucking what? Bucking the trend? There we are. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? It's me, my own McCann. I'm stuck. Right, there we are. Now, these halfwits, I wonder what their parents would think of them. I think they would be shocked because, in actual fact, nothing of what they've said is either interesting or funny. So, there we are. Your life is Scottish funny. And who's that? There we are. Right. We'll close the lines down for tonight because we don't want to spoil the most fantastic call. Uh, Professor Numptiheat and Alice, she's lovely. So there we are. Now, who have we got? Well done, Alice. That was a great call, says Mr. Pink. So there you are. Fantastic. They love you, Alice. Really enjoyed the insight from that woman. Well done says Mr. Pink. On another level. So they are, what did you think of Thatcher? Well, Jeff, she was the Iron Lady. Right, I think we're going to have to go, sadly. I don't want to leave you all, but what a wonderful show tonight. And it's all down to your good selves. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. Very much appreciated. If you're feeling generous, then uh, check out the G-O F-U-N-D-M-E um, if you're feeling flush, then uh, feel free to tap the dollar bill and stick in a quid or something like that. Fantastic. Good show, says George Diver. Hi, Scotty. A shout out on Scotty's show. Hi, Cam Ross. Uh, follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thank you for following. Jeff, you're very kind. Jeff is sending me squirrels, golden squirrels. We absolutely love it. Uh, I need followers, guys, so everybody watching, please follow. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, can you please subscribe? Now, the subscribing is free, so it doesn't cost you anything. Sean says, don't let the kids dismay you, sir. Great show as always. Fine for your rights, Scotty. Absolutely. There's Tom Verheer, educational legend. Good night, Scotty, says the wonderful Jerry Thompson. Good night, Jerry. Lovely to hear you. And a dinky do. Who is this? Was that one last call there? Fantastic. I just didn't see. There we are. I thought it was one last call. Um, now, what we'll do is uh, let me just press on to the YouTube channel and uh, just check out who has subscribed. So, guys, if you're watching right now, please do subscribe because this is a fantastic platform. It's a wonderful, wonderful show. Thanks be to you lot. Trolls should be locked up in prison. There we are. Where's the like on TikTok? Uh, there should be what you do in TikTok, you like. You'll see it there. And if you can follow by going up to the top left, guys. So there we are. Right. Can everybody watching, and I've got it here. I can see if you're doing it. Can everybody watching on the YouTube channel, please go over and click subscribe. So there we are. That's what we're looking for. Fantastic. So if you can click subscribe, um, you know, if we can get maybe another 15, 20 subscribers, that would just be tremendous. So can we have a click of subscribe, please? 
There we have it, the YouTube channel, Scotty McClue, Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. Uh, Ian Charles Scott, greeting Scotty from your agent in New York, Ian Charles Scott. We love you on from New York. Tremendous stuff. Hi, Scotty. I love Scotty McClue. Thank you, soldier boy. Very much appreciated. Right, guys, I'm watching now. So please do subscribe and let's see if we can get that up. That's lovely. Thank you. Who's just subscribed? Tell me on the chat because I want to hear from you. Wonderful stuff. There we are. Mark has subscribed. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Any more, guys? Any more subscribers for any more? There we are. So we're talking about Scotty McClue, voice of the world radio talk show. And if you're watching right now, if you could subscribe, that would be great. There we are. Sleep well. Good night. Sleep well, Scotty. You too, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. I subscribed, says the wonderful Rebecca. Rebecca Goldie, thank you so much. Rebecca has subscribed, guys. Any more subscribers? Any more for any more? Uh, I'll take another five. If five of you could go over to the subscribe button or has everybody watching right now already subscribed? Are you going to play a tune on the squeeze box for us sometimes, so Scotty? Mr. Pink, since you've asked so nicely, John says, I've subscribed. Let's see. It's not showing up. Oh, you've already subscribed, John, before you mean. Yeah, we need another five subscribers. So here's the deal. If you all subscribe, I'll give you a tune in the squeeze box. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> there we are, squeeze box. Scotty, I'm begging you, don't end the stream, please. Oh, soldier boy, bless you. We don't want to, but we have to, because we've been up for just under an hour and a half. Brilliant, says Sean. Right, guys, let's see what we can do for you here. <laughs> Oh, excuse box, put it the right way around. That helps, helps. I say to you. Right, are we ready? Squeeze box. Um, now then. We'll dedicate that to Elise and to her lovely mother who's in hospital tonight and love to the nurses as well. Thank you so much. Just beautiful, says Mr. Pink. Love it, Scotty. Alfie says answer. Brilliant. I thank you very much. You're all very, very kind. Jeff, thank you for sending me Milo. There we have it. Who have we got? Thank you for sharing the red roses. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, so actually mental that, says John. Did you like that, John? And uh, so there we have it. Now then, uh, let's just deal with this one. Now we troll there. I'll just deal with it. The we troll. That's it. And the we troll. Fantastic. Skill, mate. Skill. Absolutely. Did you enjoy that one? There we are. Thank you very much. Guys, we're sadly out of time. Professor Nupteed says you should bring back the Nupteed's half-out, Scotty. There's enough of them now. I think so. 
We might make it a special numpties half hour, but they're not allowed to phone out with the half hour. There we are. Dinky do, I say to you. You're a great human also with a lot of love in your heart. Sean Maguire, so are you. And I feel very privileged to have spoken to every single one of you tonight, even the ones that struggle to make a coherent call. There we are. FaceTime. FaceTime it is. Time for your face now. Who have we got here? Let's just see. Guys, can I have a few more followers on the YouTube subscribers just before we go? And a few more followers on the TikTok. Hey, thank you very much. Three more subscribers would be just amazing. If you're watching Scotty McClure on YouTube right now, if you can pop over to the subscribe button and hit that, that would be brilliant. Gentlemen, thank you. That was beautiful, Scotty. This is Rick Grimes. Bless you, Rick. Uh, Scotty. Dinky do, my friend Philip said he can't message. Stallion, Stallion sent me two pounds. Stallion fish, what a lovely, lovely uh, end to the evening. Two pounds from Stallion, you're very, very kind. And it's very much appreciated. Guys, three more subscribers on the TikTok, please. And on the YouTube, three subscribers on the YouTube, three followers on the TikTok. Very, very important. We'll just check how many have followed. Very good. Yes, we will need more followers on TikTok. Tremendous stuff, but we do love you. That's what it's about. And more subscribers on the YouTube channel because I want to, to get it built because this is fast becoming the world's top talk show. There we are. A pleasure as always. Dinky Doo says the wonderful Stallion. Thank you so much, Stallion. We appreciate that. Now then, who have we got here? Fantastic. That's that. And uh, what have we got here? Scotty, why did you ban my friend Philip? He loves your streams. Negan, maybe he said something he shouldn't have. Nobody ever gets banned for nothing on here. So there we are. Rick says, Scotty, firstly, that music was beautiful. Secondly, my friend Philip can't comment. Well, I don't think it's anything I've done. I'll have a look out for him, Rick and see what is what. Any more subscribers for the YouTube channel? We need another five. There we are. That would be amazing. Can you see the subscribe button? Can anybody see it? If you're watching right now, tell me if you've seen it. There we are. And uh, pop over and subscribe. I'm just watching to see if anybody's done it. There we are. I can see who's subscribing and who's not. Tremendous stuff. There we are. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Right. Uh, we've been over an hour and a half, so we'll say thank you for a beautiful, beautiful show tonight, guys. Amazing quality. Just we never know what's coming, and that's what makes the show so joyous. For me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Have a lovely weekend. Remember to stay fabulous. And uh, Scotty, if I get you five subscribers, can Philip come back? I'll check it out for you, Rick. Yes. Come on then. So there you are. Thanks, Dylan. And uh, as we say in the best of circles, Jeff just sent sunglasses. Oh, a dinky do. Stick out your tongues and say, Papa. Professor Numptyhead has just sent five pounds. He says, I will have a flashback about this tomorrow. Professor Numptyhead, you should have hung on to that. So you see what the bill for the big light is, I say to you. Thank you for the fun and entertainment. Not at all, Sean. A privilege and a pleasure. That's what it's all about. Now then, uh, two seconds. I'll just deal with that one. There we are. He's gone. There we are. Fantastic. Dinky do, sir. Dinky do, I say. Numpty heed. You're very, very kind. And a very happy birthday to you. That's what it's all about. As we say, happy birthday to Numpty Heat. I think you know, sing you the goodbye song. Right, are we ready? Join in, guys. <clears throat> After three. Three. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita thing. Au revoir and a cheerio. Good night, my loves. Dinky do. Till our last, stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. 
Bye-bye. Stick out your tongue and say 